going over that area again, there are some politicians, including those in the government, that have said that Sri Lanka could have done more to get international support at the recently concluded UN Human Rights Council special session on Sri Lanka. So if someone were to say that the failing was on the part of your ministry, how would you respond? I don't think anyone has said that. Anyway, everyone has acknowledged. I had to rescue uh, in Geneva, it is pure, purely the foreign ministry engagement that brought about that victory. We had to get 29 votes. And Geneva did not have the numbers. That's why we had to move for a second resolution, which I had to support with the, uh, the connections we had from South Africa to, uh, to South Korea, where South Korea even abstained having voted for the other one. And uh, the multifaceted approach I had the foreign minister making through our diplomats overseas help to get the numbers right for us. Otherwise, you can't get these numbers. And, uh, and also, some people may not uh, want to appreciate. That's a sickness some may have. Uh, what plans does the government have to further boost Sri Lanka's tourism? Now the conflict is over? I'm sure the Ministry of Tourism is doing their, their part. They will go on an aggressive marketing uh, development strategy, which uh, we will all support. And I think uh, the openings are so promising, and they must capitalize on that. And if you could go over the reasons of the government sending back Captain Ali? Obviously, uh, we have the territorial rights over any ship coming into territorial waters and our jurisdiction. And uh, it was meant to be a, a LTT-backed uh, mission. And LTT is a banned organization in Sri Lanka. And it's a terrorist outfit anywhere in the world, particularly from UK to European Union. And any ship bringing... Uh, any ship bringing material coming from a terrorist organization is non acceptable at all. So that is the theme on which we'll work. And that's why we had to reject. And similarly, I think it has been rejected even in India. But if the ship was checked for so many hours, 111 I think it was, uh, and there wasn't anything, it was all considered to be A, then... Uh... Even from a terrorist organization you can't accept anything. And because uh, we go by not the whether there are contrabands or otherwise, we had to go by from the origin of material that comes from. It's like stolen property. Can you ask accept stolen property merely because it has rice and sugar and humanitarian assistance built into it? Once it is stolen, it has no value. And a terrorist organization have having material means all out of a terrorist outfit. These are ill-gotten material and assets, and that cannot be accepted, uh, and we will not accept. Uh, can you explain again the government's stance on why Sri Lanka can't be taken to the International Criminal Court on war crimes charge? Obviously, because Sri Lanka does not come within the classification of war crimes when you deal with a terrorist organization out of its sovereign right you enjoy in the country as a sovereign state. And you have a legal system that governs the operations of our conduct as administrators of people in government. It was a purely a humanitarian vision to counter terrorism, endorsed by the international community, asking the LTT to lay down arms and free the civilians. And civilians were not freed, and we had to engage in order to get the civilians freed and counter the LTT in that engagement. And uh, thereby, that's a mere, purely and simply a humanitarian mission that was carried out. And where do you find war crimes in that? There was no targeting of civilians by the government. The government only rescued the civilians. And the 300,000 people who have come on to the government uh, freeing this LTT hold will has, have voted, all have voted with their feet in um, endorsing the actions of the government. And uh, the, the this LTT media or the propaganda arm is trying to give a different twist to the whole exercise and trying to pick on things that they've failed in Sri Lanka to have a separate state. Now they want to target the ones who saved Sri Lanka off 
that div that division and uh, get on to a to a different agenda and which will not come within the framework of any war crimes and that is the legal position as well the issue of people smuggling or illegal migration of sri lankans to other countries officials they are still concerned about that so what is your ministry doing in terms of assuring them that you're keeping the date as the gate is tightly closed to ensure that all migration is legal and your ministry is processing that now the issue is illicit migration from an island state like sri lanka uh, had a history here throughout our history people have been finding their way out uh, through various means uh, one time assisted by the ltt in a big way and some of the other so called uh, underworld uh, organizations that help people to go into countries like australia or italy or some other western countries as well we have now comprehensively uh, prevented any sort of developments associated with the assistance of regular patrolling by the navy and on show patrolling by the police now we want to strengthen it further i had discussed the matter with the, the australian prime minister uh, and also the australian foreign minister australian uh, team was in sri lanka to discuss this matters with the immigration authorities we want to strengthen the our uh framework legal framework to prevent any sort of illegal migration from out of sri lanka is there anything you like to add in conclusion i think you covered a lot what i would like to state is the efforts of the foreign uh, ministry and its missions and our ambassadors have helped uh, our engagement in countering terrorism now our task lies in seeing that the ltt international network is equally dealt by us which we have now focused on and uh, kp that is uh, uh, kumaram padmanadan uh, is someone that uh, we are now persecuting in terms of seeing that he could be arrested uh, from the international uh, community and uh, he is need to be called red list and uh, we have sought his arrest and we want to deal with similar uh, persons who are in the ltt international network equally so that we could put an end to ltt uh, so called networking in the world as well thank you thank you thank you